Is it time for another drunk reveal? Absolutely. Hello and welcome back to Simon's Rants. I'm Simon and today I'm doing another drunk review of another Barbie movie. I don't know why. <laughs> the first one was pretty popular and I put off doing another one for a while but I thought this could be really fun. So without further ado, this is Barbara Millison Roberts as Rapunzel. This looks like reject footage from the first Toy Story, which came out like almost a decade before this. <laughs> it's my favorite color. Brett Gannon blue and Rob Hudd green. Um, Barbie? What am I supposed to paint? This, you idiot. We've been working on this beach painting for the past three hours and you haven't done anything yet. But what if I don't have any good ideas? You have wonderful ideas. You're just not good at painting them, you little moron. Can't you just tell me what to paint? And take away the best part? No, the best part's actually being good at painting. I'm really good at knowing what to paint. But what if I hate it? You know, you remind me of a story. It's about this stupid little girl who asked too many questions and then she got kicked out of her house. I like that story. There was a secret manor hidden deep in a dark forest. The woods were whispered to be full of monsters and dragons. Just whispered? Nobody actually just said it? Hey! There's monsters. What? I said there's monsters in there. I can't... What? I said there's monsters. What? It was concealed behind a magic wall. Which kept intruders out. And more importantly, kept a young girl hidden inside. That's not a tower. It's not a tower at all. Oh, do you hear that, Rapunzel? <laughs> Just a talking rabbit. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I guess princesses normally have talking animal sidekicks. What the f- It's just a dragon? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about the dragon in Rapunzel. You're right. <laughs> I need to reread that story. Uh-oh. Gothel Alert! Gothel Alert! Platform 9 and 3 trees? We should go into the Batcave. I have to say, this is not the normal tower I'm used to seeing in Rapunzel. She's just walking all over a castle. Also, her hair is not nearly long enough. What kind of tower is she gonna let a guy into with that? Hold on. I'll let you up these two stairs. Just hold on. Did you make the beds? Sweep the floors? Weed the garden? What? It's, is this Cinderella or Rapunzel? What? Are we sure we know which fairy tale we're telling right now? Listen to that. You're supposed to keep the house in perfect order. You're supposed to replace all the floorboards every day. Come on, you stupid idiot. Just be very, very careful, Penelope. Oh no! Because <gasps> oh. catching the cookies in your mouth and eating them is a far better outcome than them falling on the ground. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What is this story? I'm what? You don't think I got moves? Cause I got moves. <laughs> I'm the sassy black dragon friend. As you all know from your childhood favorite Rapunzel. <laughs> Come on, something great could be down here. Uh, oh yeah, sure. It looks very inviting. Uh, you don't think there are spiders down there? Because I'm not too fond of spiders or, or beetles or snakes. I don't like them either. I get it. It's funny because she's a big dragon, but she's carrying a little tail. <laughs> funny. <laughs> she's not laughing. Laugh. Nobody's been down here in years. How would you know that? How would you? How, what? Are there security cameras? Have you checked the archive footage? Would you look at this? 
Ooh, she sure got mad at somebody. I wouldn't want to be in his boots. Or his head. Humor. What a lovely old box. Right now, Kelly's going, What the hell does this have to do with choosing what to paint? <gasps> a hairbrush. No. There's something engraved on the back. Constant as the stars above. Always know that you are loved. To our daughter Rapunzel on her first birthday. With love forever, mother and father. And also, have a great birthday. I can't believe you're already a year old. This is a lot of writing for one brush, isn't it? That's what you would think, but not really. Our language is quite... <laughs> Quite quick, you can write a whole book on a napkin, and speaking of writing a book on a napkin, here's my novel. It's about this little girl named Kelly. She likes to paint. Rapunzel, where are you? All I see here is the secret pathway, but you obviously couldn't be down there, so I can't possibly fathom where you are. <laughs> Hey, what did she run up all the way to her bedroom? This is Cinderella. This is just Cinderella. This is Cinderella. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Why won't you just make Cinderella? This has nothing, nothing about this story other than mentioning the name Rapunzel has anything to do with Rapunzel. Nothing. Oh, I see a very big hairy spider. <laughs> Kidding. Hmm. That's funny. You know, the classic <laughs> secret tunnel beneath the secret tunnel. You know that old trick? Maybe this isn't a good idea. But I've never been outside the magic wall. Oh, well, thank you for that exposition. Because they obviously didn't know that already. What tower is she letting up people with her hair? It's like five feet long. That's long. A tower is not five feet tall. <laughs> looks horrible. Where are we going with this plot? I'm legitimately, like, confused where we're going with this plot. There is a completely legitimate plot you could have been using. Like, I want to see the board meeting where they're like, All right, guys, our Nutcracker Barbie movie did very well. We need to come up with another story. Oh, we should do Rapunzel. Cool. All right, good idea. How's that plot go again? There's a dragon and a talking rabbit, right? Sure! What if Gotha wakes up before she comes back? Hobie, what do you hear? Anything? Is she coming? Uh, I'm getting... I'm getting... nothing. Maybe if you move my right ear down a notch. Uh, how's that? Get it? Because they're called bunny ears? This is the worst thing I've ever watched. This is the worst thing I've ever watched. This is the worst thing I've ever watched. Hello, Father. Don't tell me you've been here playing all day. Rapunzel! <laughs> I'm waiting for one Rapunzel-like thing to happen. Like, one thing. Just one thing to go, Oh, yeah, that's Rapunzel. Nothing! Nothing's happened yet! Does he ever smile? <sighs> Not around me. Oh, If I literally cared at all that would be sad but i really don't <laughs> that's my last carrot he still looks hungry i was going to share here you go botticelli melody lorena look enough for everybody what trees That's a good part of the movie. I approve of that scene. The hell is that, though? Somebody put a bear trap? Or a dragon trap? Or a heffalum trap? Just hold on. I'll get you. Oh, she's gonna use the hair. She's gonna use the hair. Okay, we get it. Wait, she didn't use the hair? <laughs> Rapunzel!
Thank you for saving my sister. Uh, and you for saving me. Have we met before? Where's your sword, bud? I see the handle, but where's the sword? Oh no. How did it get so late? Oh yes. I too love the part of Rapunzel where she's like, Oh no, I need to get back into the tower because I can't let her know I escaped. Is that a bomb? Old witch is getting lit. Just a little interesting news for you. I saw somebody today in the village. What accent makes you say village as a village? She was talking to... What is going on with her face? Like, what? What is this? I need to know who he is. I need his name. I need to know who he is. I need his name. I need to know who he is. <laughs> and I also need to know his name. But I already told you, I don't know. Maybe I'm not making myself clear. <gasps> Care. Half an hour into an 80 minute movie and we have yet to say anything, anything that shows that this is Rapunzel. Anything. Oh, now it's a tower because kidnapping her wasn't necessity to be a tower anyway. I mean, you made the tower above her going up. How are you at the top of the tower now? Doesn't make any sense. And again with the dragons. Why are dragons in Rapunzel? Why? Why? Uh, because you're being held hostage by an evil witch? Doesn't seem that complicated to me. Also, you went back. That was your choice. Stefan? Yes? Nothing. I'm just glad you're my brother. Exposition is hard sometimes. In a few days, you'll turn 18, Stefan. One day, you'll take over the kingdom. Exposition. It's hard sometimes. Go on, you're the brave one. Exposition. When are you going to see the lady with the pretty hair again? Soon. I hope. Okay, well now her hair's long. When did that happen? Has it been like 10 years? What the hell? Rapunzel. Let down your hair. Oh, it's yes, just the obvious conclusion. After obviously seeing that she has long hair. You didn't see that. I know it's a dream sequence, but still just like, I mean, let down your hair, duh. <laughs> Man, this Mysterio fight scene from the new Spider-Man is crazy. as the stars above always know that you are loved I'm going to be free constant as the stars above oh no shut up You're trying so hard to be Anastasia right now aren't you your dreams come true Chased by a giant beast, a dragon, 50 feet tall! No, 100 feet! Yes, I'm sure nobody has ever seen a beast quite so terrible. But did you find the girl? I'm assuming he doesn't believe them, which is silly enough on its own because dragons do actually exist in this universe. He's like, yeah, 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 you got attacked by a dragon, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you see the girl? I'm glad that you risked your life for me, but did you see the girl? <laughs> It was King Wilhelm's men, your highness. I, I saw them slashing and destroying everything. What? What? 
I'm so glad we didn't show that. Just an, an army coming into another kingdom. That's not exciting at all. It's so simple. We bust her out. And how would we do that? I haven't figured out that part yet. The only thing relating to Rapunzel that has happened at all so far was a dream sequence. That's it. That is it. <laughs> we brought you something, Rapunzel. Wait, so she can fly now? She can fly now? Why is she in the tower still then? I hate this movie. Now I know my eyes are going. I could swear this used to be a hairbrush. Nah, exposition. It's hard. <gasps> How'd you do that? I don't know. I was thinking of the blue sky, and there it was. So, once again, what does this have to do with Kelly's inability to decide what to paint? It's like, hey, just think, and bam, there's the painting. This time. I was thinking of the grass in the village. You don't even need paint. What just happened? We just cut. Need paint. What is that? What is that? What was? Good. You are herewith invited to the masked ball, in honor of the prince's birthday. It's tonight. I would have given it to you sooner, but you're hard to find. <gasps> I made it. I actually made it! Stand back! Watch it with that thing! Somebody could get seriously hurt! I just... I don't... This is so bad... I don't think... You understand. This movie... Is physically hurting me. I am... In pain. Like... This is a necessity. Why did why did Rapunzel's evil stepmother witch thing invent that? I'm gonna make this giant tower, but make sure there's a slide all the way down. No, 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 not yet. Let, let's talk. We don't talk enough. You know, like the good old days. No, oh, you're useless. Give him to me. Uh... <laughs> oh. He's dead. They just killed him. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. But I can't stay. So why did you come back? Why do you keep coming back? If you have the ability to leave and you don't want to be there, why do you keep coming back? I don't understand! I don't think this dress is right for a masked ball. Maybe we could do it up. Mm. Hmm. I wonder... Ooh, go ahead, try it on! That's not how the paintbrush has been working. Are you gonna walk through it to dress land? What do you think? Beautiful. Mm, I think it's too simple. This won't sell enough toys. I need to paint a better one. Any specific plans or just general pen and anguish? Pain. Anguish. And perhaps a trim. Why? I get it. With the actual Rapunzel plot, yeah, she uses her hair. She hasn't used her hair for anything. So you're just like, eh, I'm cutting that bitch's hair. <laughs> Why?
You do look lovely in your party clothes, Rapunzel. It's just your hair. It's not quite right. Shoo! No! No, no. It's only hair. Yeah, exactly. Who cares? It doesn't have anything to do with anything. She just cut her hair. Oh, oh no. There's magic around this. This magic portal is magical. Who is the boy? Tell me his name. I don't know. Then live with your lies. Forever! I'm gonna live forever? Thank you, I guess. What, so now it's the little mermaid? This has nothing to do with Rapunzel. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. How hard is it to make a story about Rapunzel? There's a girl with long hair in a tower. A guy comes along, climbs up. They go, hey, we like each other. Okay, bye. The witch finds out, goes, oh, I'm cutting your hair. And then... Oh, the guy climbs up the tower on the, the hair that's hanging on the tower, and then she goes, Oh, oh tricked you. I'm blinding you. Kick you out of the tower. How hard is that? That's not a complicated plot. Guys, to be her. Her face definitely was like this, and her nose was like that. Yeah, because of the hair. Don't I please you, Prince Stefan? I don't understand. I thought you were Rapunzel. Yes. Who are you? I'm the one who's going to teach you not to meddle with my plans. Okay, here's a question. An honest question. Why put this under the name Rapunzel? Just do Barbie's Magic Adventure. This has nothing to do with Rapunzel. Make up your own story if you're gonna make up your own story. I just, I don't get it. I wish we could help her, but it's impossible. I've served under Gothel for many years and her spells are unbreakable. I won't give up. Penelope, the spell only traps a prisoner with a lying heart. Obviously. You haven't been lying to Gothel, so my father thinks Gothel's spell can't stop you. What did Gothel say? Never release your prisoner with, with a, a lying heart. heart. You know that part of Rapunzel where she escapes the tower by flying away on a dragon? With her rapid friend? Yeah, that's my favorite part of Rapunzel. Thank you, Hugo. I understand it is I who must thank you. I just wish I could care. No, I don't. That's a lie. I wouldn't make it through that force field because I have a lying heart. Hey! This is no fun! You're right, it's not. The second thing that I never understood is like, just reflective things in general in movies just deflect everything. You got a laser gun? Too bad, here's a mirror. You got magic? Too bad, here's a plate. Why? You'd think they would come up with better spells. Tommy! <laughs> that angle why was that shot necessary what was that shot for like I know that's a nitpick but literally that shot from a filmmaking standpoint was completely entirely void of purpose ah! I look terrible at least a formal occasion <laughs> Oh, 
Wilhelm. Somebody was paid to animate this. Somebody was paid. So again, we meet at a ball. Mm, Rapunzel. He attacked my kingdom without cause. You stole my daughter. No, for the thousandth time I never stole her. No, I did. What? She would have been my daughter if you had married me. Shut up. No! No more! Can't be. Impossible! You kept me locked up my whole life? No more suffering, Gothel, for anybody! You could have run away! Countless of times! Countless times! And you stay! You stay and what you do? You know what you do? This is your fault, you moron! You think you can stop me? Maybe not alone, but with the help of a mighty dragon. Haha, that's called character development. <gasps> I, I was just leaving. And that's called comedy? Run, Rapunzel! Go! Hurry, you know where. I do? Where? I forgive you for all those years. No more hatred. Please. And be made a fool of? Never! This is so bad. Now! <gasps> what? It can't be. Oh. Now why did that happen? Oh, thank you for reminding me I forgot what she said, but now that you are repeating it over and over and over and over and over again, now I remember. Thank you so much. Can we at least have one person climb up hair in this movie that's not in a dream sequence? No? Okay, I'm sorry. That's too much to ask for a Rapunzel movie. Your mother and I have never stopped thinking about you. Our love is as constant as the stars, stars above. above. <sighs> Gee, that's beautiful. Hey, I call him as I see him. Everything, every line, every moment of this movie is stupid. Everything about this movie is awful. Everything. 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 And Rapunzel and Stefan lived happily ever after. So wait, what does this have to do with painting? <laughs> wow, I wish I had a magic paintbrush like Rapunzel. But you do. The magic comes from here. That was shit. That was one of the worst, if not the worst, movies I have ever watched. It had nothing to do with Rapunzel. The plot was shit. It didn't make any sense. The continuity was horrible. That was god awful. That makes the last Barbie movie look like a masterpiece.
give it 10 Oscars and pat it on the back, man. That movie was awesome. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, please like if you liked it. Share. It helps me out a lot. And if you're new here, this is your first time here, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. And bye. Why was that so bad?